the most bubbly, excited, bright, adorable, smart dragon in Wings of Fire shipped with this blob of a dragon. Hey friends, welcome to the second Wings of Fire ship analysis video. Disclaimer, this is mostly my opinions and information I've gathered from re reading Wings of Fire. Do not go all crazy Karen on me because it's your favorite ship ever and I ruined it. Truthfully, I've probably thought about it more than the average shipper, so hear me out on this one. Turtle and Kinkajou is far from a healthy ship, and I can say this with confidence. I don't get why people love this ship so much. It's half-baked and doesn't make me feel like the way I should when two characters go so perfectly together. One of the reasons is that if Kinkajou and Turtle actually worked as a ship, an enemy's love spell wouldn't have worked. Let me explain. An enemy's enchantment was to heal Kinkajou from the injury Shapeshifter had given to her. But along with this enchantment, she made Kinkajou love Turtle as much as Turtle loved her. The way this story went is once Turtle woke up with the spell on her, she was following Turtle around like a lost puppy. This made Turtle feel bad about the spell. This alone makes me hate an enemy even more than I did, but I could make a whole video on that. Basically, the way it should have gone was that once Kinkajou woke up with the spell, she did not act any differently than she would have before the spell. By doing this, she slowly realizes that she might actually like Turtle. So instead of the love spell forcing her to have feelings that don't exist, the spell only makes her discover those feelings. Then, once the spell got removed at the end of the book, she expects the feelings to go away. But they don't making Kinkajou realize that she might actually love Turtle, freeing Turtle from the guilt of having Kinkajou fall in love with him. That way, Turtle and Kinkajou have to figure out from what they have to do from there. Instead of that, Kinkajou was forced for a whole book to face feelings that she didn't actually have, making Turtle feel super bad and guilty. Then, at the end, she was confused and a bit embarrassed at the way she acted. When she came to the conclusion that she didn't feel anything more than friends towards Turtle, Turtle was heartbroken and even felt more bad that Kinkajou had to feel things that weren't her own. Now, of course, I am not blaming Kinkajou for anything. Kinkajou did nothing wrong. Do not take that the wrong way. Ooh, wait, I actually think the spell was a good idea, but wasn't I just ranting about how it wasn't? Not exactly. This spell was a great way to represent how an enemy was slowly following to the influence of Darkstalker, and also how animus magic works. This spell shows that animus magic only works to a certain extent. No matter how OP it is, it can't change the things that make a dragon a dragon. For example, Kinkaju didn't actually feel love towards Turtle, and it just masked the feelings that she had towards him before, not completely replacing those feelings. This was a great way to show this. It was subtle, but great. And it also conveys it really good too. It's also great for an enemy's character. At the time, she was starting to really fall under the influence of Darkstalker. This also could be foreshadowing Darkstalker manipulating Fierce Teeth to Clear Sight and then changing how he wanted Clear Sight to be. This just shows how powerful Darkstalker is. An enemy did exactly what Darkstalker would have done without even being told to. This is another great video topic on how powerful Darkstalker is, even with, without magic. If you want me to do a video on that, I am totally open to suggestions. Of course, not that an enemy should have done it, as it was still very wrong, but it was still very cool to watch it all come together. Lastly, if you watched my other video on Peril and Clay, then you know that I think Peril and Turtle would work great together. If you want to know exactly why, watch that video. But what about Kinkajou? Well, I couldn't find a single ship that I thought could work for her. Kinkajou and Tamarin, maybe, considering how protective she is of Tamarin, it might make for a cute ship, but I'm not sure. I also thought of Kinkajou and Moonwatcher, as I know that's more popular in the fandom, but I still wasn't 100% sure. Let me know if you want me to do a video on either of those. In conclusion, I love the way Tui had written the love spell, but the ship was ruined by it. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of this content, I try and upload every week on Friday. This is also a new schedule, so if I don't stick to it, uh, don't get too mad, I'm still getting used to it. I also do animation as a hobby, so if you want to see some of that, subscribe. Comment in your favorite and least favorite Wings of Fire ship you want me to cover for a chance to see me rant about it for 5-10 to 10 minutes straight. Thanks for joining me, catch you in the next one!